uh, it's the Bangalore team that's traveling and visiting uh, the team that's uh, looked very good, looked very comfortable. Uh, we have Michael Warren here, their social media manager, uh, who of course... <laughs> just for a day. Just for a day. That was enough, right? I got sacked. Did you? you did you? Yeah, I got sacked, yeah, for a day. Oh. Wow, that must have been really terrible. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's really terrible. Did you put your phone down for an hour or so and yeah. go and play paddle or something? Yeah. And just, that's it. <laughs> if you're not on your phone all day as a social media manager, you I, might go. I had to go in the ice bath, so they yeah. sacked me. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken one of those waterproof covers. <laughs> still gramming, still gramming, still going. Uh, for Bangalore, uh, what, what do Bangalore do? They come up against a team like Rajasthan, who is ticking all the boxes, they're ticking some boxes twice in fact. Uh, this is not an easy game, coming on the back of uh, what happened at home, they only won one out of the three that they played at home. And that's what we've talked about time and time again, you've got to win at home. You pinch a couple away and you make your home ground the, the, the one that you win probably 70 to 80% of your games at and you qualify for the top four. When you lose at home, you've got to find wins on the road against probably, I, I sort of think they're the best side in the competition, Rajasthan. Mm. I, I think they have potential to be a championship side yep. this year. They've got you. so many bases covered. The impact substitute has been probably more beneficial for them than any other side, I think, because they had a crack 11 but couldn't quite find a fifth bowl, a sixth bowler. They were doing a six plus five combination. Yeah, they, they were. And, and yeah. I think Very old been, school. I think yeah. it's been probably the best addition for, for them because they've always had, well, the last two seasons, I think they've had a crack 11. Just haven't, ha haven't had that one player that they've been missing. But uh, that's made a big difference to them and they're just a very, very good looking side. I think for Bangalore, Michael, uh, they're big names. You know, Faf, Maxwell. Maxwell's having a shocker of a season. Mm. Uh, Cameron Green. They need these three uh, to get runs. They need them to get big runs, quick runs. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see what they do. Mm. You know, I think the bowling, as I've said from the start of the IPL, I just don't think it's strong enough. So the batting's going to have to always play above par. Now, I look at very, uh, uh, Vera at the top of the order and, and you know that they're going to try and find a bit of spin in the first over and I said the other day that is, is it worth them finding a left-hander to go in with him? So if they yeah. do open with spin, Vera gets one and the left-hander can go blush. Yeah. Is it worth them just trying to get one of those experienced senior pros, you're always looking at when they're needing quick runs, DK did brilliantly to get them over, over a line but you know, in the last couple of games I've been watching them and it's always down to lesser players down the back end, is it worth Maxi going either deeper Cameron Green going deeper, just leaving someone down the back end who can strike it. Yeah. Um, you know, clearly, if Vera has a day out, um, they can beat anybody. But I just think tactically now, teams are going to go th spin early. Vera has those two fielders on the onside boundary. He doesn't sweep or reverse sweep. Uh, it might be the, he has to take a bit more of a risk yeah. in the first couple of hours. But you wanted Maipa Lomro to open with him the other just day when you saw him batting, just, you said, I, why I just, not? I just look at RCB, unless the if, if they go doing exactly what they've done for the last few years, it'll be the same result. Yeah. Is it worth them just trying to change something at the top of the order by putting a left-hander out there in a similar old to Narine? Mm. Go out there and just give it a good old wallop. Well, where does They're out at the other end can just play. But then where then does Faf play then? Well, Faf needs runs wherever he plays. Yeah. You know, he's just getting to that stage now. You're going into the fifth game. He's the captain. You know, pressure on the captain, pressure on his runs. Um, Cameron Green, obviously, big money signing pressure on Cameron Green, particularly his bowling. His bowling's been poor. He's yeah. batting, it's looked threatening at times, but his bowling has been poor. Um, look, they need to win tomorrow. They is, need to find a way of winning. And, is this the problem for them? Because they play three foreign batters, the sure starters in their team, well, they can only get one foreign bowler. But that, that's the problem for me. So Green or Maxwell, got to go. Got to go. Okay. Don't play. And you, uh, Topley was okay. And we first came up, you can forgive him a couple of uh, poor deliveries at the back end. They've got to find a way to get Lockie Ferguson and yeah. Reese Topley into that side. Green or Maxwell go. Uh, Lomero plays because he can offer you a little bit of left arm spin mm. uh, as well as bat very well and then you, you find out your combination from there but at, at the moment I think they've got to find a way to get two overseas uh, bowlers into that mix, two overseas quicks. Mm. Ferguson gets a go, Topley keeps, stays there for that left arm option, you've got a bit more pace yeah. in Ferguson. I know Alzari's got the same pace but just not quite the same experience. Um, as a Lockie Ferguson, so and then you just change things up through that middle order, and, and Lomro just you know he bats at four or five, or, or you you do what Vaughan said and give him an opportunity to open and, and bat Faf at three, and then go from there. Effectively, what the two of you are saying is they need a disruption, right? Because yeah. it's becoming predictable, correct? And it's become that's been pretty much their business model over the years, mm -hmm. and it's kind of not working. So you know, do something. Just yeah. You, you and and also, in. sometimes when you're lo losing, I mean, we're, we were speaking earlier about the the era that we're in. It's quite a nice era because 
no one gets dropped. Yeah. Which I kind of get that in terms of mindset, but this team possibly needs that ruthless moment where one of the big players does get dropped. Yeah. So everyone else goes, oh gosh. Yeah. Then yeah. we have to perform. And it's not putting under a huge amount, they're under enough pressure because they've won one in four, so they have to win. Mm. It's like, it's got to that stage now that they have to go out and deliver a performance. And I just think sometimes by just disrupting a little bit, mm. changing one or two things, uh, it might just trigger them, might trigger them into action. Mm, and okay. They'll be the first team to, have, team to have played five after tomorrow as well. Yeah. They'll be the first team to have played five. And if they're only one win from five games, yeah, that's a long way it's back done. to the top four. Yeah, no, that's it's 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 almost done then. That's trouble. If you win only one out of five, so tomorrow is really a must-win game for them. Uh, for Rajasthan, of course, a lot more uh, wiggle room for them, a lot more cushion, a lot more. It's kind of padded for them, but uh, they're not going to come out and play like that. You know that because they've been playing really good cricket. And when you look at that team, we'll be talking about that team. Plenty of options and 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 how much of a difference does it make that Riyan Parag comes in at four? He's become your solid bat. He can give you solid runs. He can give you big runs. He can score 200 strike rate. Suddenly, this team just completely changes. Credit where it's due. Uh, I haven't been his biggest fan. I think he, at, at times in the last two, three years, he's been more of a, a showboat. Than like I say, to a be player. a showboat, you first have to put on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't seen any of that this season. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously had a brilliant domestic season. Uh, he's bought that form in and he has been superb. He really has. I've been so impressed yeah. with, with Rian Parag. He's got that solid spot at number four. Obviously, he's relishing it, yeah. uh, but he's just playing such fantastic cricket. Yeah. And I haven't seen it, even in the field. You know, at times in the field in the past, we've seen it, just a little bit of that sort of over-exuberance, a little bit of perhaps the arrogance that, that we haven't been overly... Um, well, overly proud of seeing, mm. uh, but I've been really impressed with him. So credit where it's due, he, he's been absolutely superb at the start of the season, and I've been I've actually really enjoyed watching him play. He's probably one of the most powerful clean strikers over the offside, uh, off the fast bowling, and he pick, plays that pickup shot over widish long on mid wicket as well as anyone. The one he hit off Nokia was mm. just... Yeah. I mean, taking Nokia down is not the easiest task. And he really and took, he took him, him down. 25 of the yeah. over. So, wow. fair play to him. And, and, you know, I've talked to a lot of people in that Rajasthan camp. They've always had good things to say about him. Yeah. But he's never he's, quite delivered. Yeah. Uh, and this year he is starting to deliver. So, fair play to the young man. Player to watch out for from each team. What's your pick? What's your pick? I'm Let's going Jaiswal. Jaiswal for Rajasthan. He's yet to fire and tomorrow night is Good his choice. night. I'm going with the captain, Sanju. Sanj. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go with Butler because I think uh, if Butler starts to find form, they're even more dangerous uh, and they need a Joss Butler in form, I think, to uh, to take a title out. There you go. We've picked one, two, three. One, two, go. three. Maharaja Mixi. Uh, it's an ad from the early 1960s. Uh, for the other team, Bangalore, who are you picking? I'm going to go Glenn Maxwell. Glenn Maxwell. He's Gains. not in Simon's team. Gains. No, I, I said one of I said one, uh, of, one, of, <laughs> one of Maxwell or Green. He'll be, he'll be playing, and against those so spinners, he'll have to play well. Of yeah. course. And he can. Of course. You? Uh, Faf. Faf needs runs. Mm. He needs runs. So I'm going for the two the two big internationals at the top in, in either side. Uh, Faf needs runs, and uh, you know his job first and foremost, take the captaincy away, is to get runs at the top. Mm. Okay, then I'll pick Virat because hey, again, <laughs> hey, bowlers, what bowlers? Huh? <laughs> what? Hmm?